Welcome back to your processing video tutorials. In this video we're going to change the ball class slightly so it fits a more general approach to movement. This means that instead of move up we're going to change this method name to just move. Instead of subtracting dy from y we're going to add and we're going to do that because if we would want to subtract, we can make dy negative. And this makes a bit more sense, at least to me, to just add and then make dy negative if I want to subtract, make it positive again if I want to add. This is what we did um, previously. And also x plus equal dx. And this is going to move the ball on the x plane if dx is not equal to zero. So if we were to call move with our current ball, we would just move it up as we have done in the past because dy is five, actually, sorry, we would move it down as we've done in the past because dy is five and we would increase y by dy constantly. We would never change x because dx is zero. In order to have a bit more control over where our ball is going, we need to be able to change dx and dy. And we are also going to need to be able to see where our ball is, meaning we're going to be able, we're going to need to be able to see what the x and y values are. But we're not going to do that in this video. Instead, we're going to go back to our old file and we're going to remove this move up, leaving it only as a move. And we're going to save and press play again. And now you can see that the ball is now moving down, but it's still disappearing at the bottom because we don't have a way to make it turn around. We don't have a way to change dx and dy. And also we don't have a way to see whether the ball has disappeared or has collided against the bottom or top uh, parts of the screen. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. I'll see you in the next one.